my name is Steve England and I'm a naturalist and horticulturalist, RHS horticulturalist. I've spent my whole life in this part, the best part of 47 years. And I've studied its wildlife, geology and the plant life too. The problem we've got, we're in the middle of December. Historically it should be very cold, but it's not, it's very warm. And because we're experiencing these erratic weather systems, it has a, an impact on plants and we've got some examples to look at here. The ground temperature is too warm, the air temperature is very warm, and the wildlife is responding accordingly. Okay, so some of the things that we're looking at, we've come into the woods now to have a look at the effects of erratic weather systems, and here's a classic example. These are raspberries, and look at this fresh, soft shoot. You don't expect to see this in the middle of December. Normally, late summer, yes. The problem is, is when we get a frost, and we will, this will die. So that will have an impact on the plant's ability to spread. It'll just kill them off. So it's harnessing all the plant's growth. And if we go further up some of the shoots, we can actually see the effects of what's happening. And can you see there, we've got not only a flower, they're producing new flowers, and ultimately they end up producing new fruits. I mean, it's great for us and it's great for the birds, but it shouldn't be happening because the problem is now is although we're experiencing this warmer weather, when we get, as I said earlier, when we get the cold snap, these are going to die by frost. And next year, it'll probably have an impact on the volume of fruit that this shrub is going to produce. So therefore, that will have an impact on the availability of food for birds and foragers like me. Gorgeous to see, very visual, but it's not right. Not this time of year. We shouldn't have them. And as I said, everything revolves around soil and air temperature. Humans, were different. We live by calendars. Plants and wildlife don't. It's all around environmental factors, such as air temperature, light intensity, and soil temperature. And this is a classic example of how warm Britain's becoming. We're in mid-December. This just shouldn't be here. We should be in two feet of snow now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a taste of one now because at this time of year I'm really intrigued to see what they taste like. So I'm gonna pick this plump beauty. Oh, that's like a summer's day in your mouth in December. The, the sharpness and the sweetness of it, it's just not normal, it's beautiful. I don't wanna eat them all because I wanna leave them for the birds. That's, I think that's the fair thing to do. Definitely, but you can see where people have come past before and or a bird or or something has taken them off there But look at that look. this this plant has got probably another 10 raspberries to produce through these flowers already So I'll just keep going and keep going and when we get a frost and we will get a frost Boom, that's the end of these 